Hi Mark, um, what I want to cover now is you know, the traditional way of uh, connecting a storage unit to uh, any um, host environments has been fiber channel. You know, lately we've also seen our SCSI and it's become quite popular, but there also is an alternative which Tintry uses is NFS. A lot of people might not be that familiar with NFS, so can you give us an, an insight into it? Sure, I mean this really comes back I guess to a history lesson, so when we moved away from direct storage environments to more networked or distributed computing, we needed uh, a much more efficient storage medium, so uh, what we found was um, companies like EMC sprung up with storage area networks uh, and block based storage arrays over a protocol or SCSI over a fibre channel. Um, so everyone um, sort of adopted the fibre channel protocol as, as being the principal mechanism to access shared storage. As times progressed, other companies like Network Appliance came along with more file-based uh, storage uh, arrays, so uh, trying to service slightly different workloads. Now, in a virtual machine environment, a virtual machine is a collection of files, so to be able to see the files that generate the IOs, which are the virtual disks, uh, and also the swap file, you need a file-based protocol. So uh, we chose to use NFS because it gives us that visibility into the file stack that exists within uh, a virtual machine, but very specifically allows us to understand uh, and see the IOs being generated by the virtual disks and, um, and by the swap file itself. And again, um, because we can see that, we can schedule our resources around it and we can provide very granular uh, detail around um, what that virtual machine is doing. And you can't achieve that with a, with a, a pure block-based protocol, whether that be Fiber Channel or, or iSCSI even. Well, my experience of NFS is from the Unix world, and we, the issue you get in NFS in the Unix world, it's a very chatty protocol. Yeah. Is that the same in this environment? Uh, well, that's a, that's a fantastic observation. So, um, yeah, historically, uh, NFS was incredibly chatty, largely because, um, because it was a, a based around file systems. What you tended to see was um, the, a lot of the traffic, probably 60% plus of the traffic, would relate to metadata. So it would be um, uh, information flowing up and down the line about when a file was created, for example, who has permissions to access that, that specific file, when was that file last modified, all these kinds of little metadata lookups. What you find in a, in a VM environment, though, it's a completely different um, uh, beast completely. So what you have is probably about 90% of the I.O. is actually a read or a write request. It's not a metadata lookup. Mm -hmm. So um, it's very important, again, to adapt your, your protocol, or your implementation of the protocol for that read-write use case. And again, that's something that Tintry has done. We've adapted our implementation of NFS very much for that read-write use case that, 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 that uh, VMs generate. Okay. Thank you very much.